Hi, thanks for joining me at Ted's Modeling Technique. A couple of things I'd like to uh, pass on that might help. Uh, some of the glues I use, and, uh, and a hint or two here also, uh, the white Elmer's glue for clear plastics and also for mock-ups. It's great for photo etch parts, uh, you know, whatnot that you put together. You can take them apart a little bit later um, if you need to. Uh, Plasta Weld uh, by uh, Flexifile and 10X, kind of the same ideas for uh, bonding styrene. And these are, are good in uh, like this um, uh, touch and flow applicator. It's, uh, I keep, the, like, keep a little tip on here to protect it. Also keep a little something on the back side uh, so that uh, that uh, end is also protected. But, um, you know, these uh, liquid cements work fine in these applicators. They also work great in these little uh, squeeze bottles that have these needle uh, applicators. As a matter of fact, uh, Flexifile makes these bottles. That's where I got this one. And I keep a couple of spares on hand, too. I really like them for the, uh, for the kicker. Um, you know, they're, uh, they put out just a drop if you need a drop. They can put out a stream if you need that. Uh, you'll notice I also have these little plastic uh, caps over my glues. Uh, I, I've kind of found caps like this over the years. Um, here's a little packet I found of, uh, I'm not even sure what they are, where they came from. Looked like they might go on the ends of some uh, metal shelving or something to protect the little ends that come off that might be sharp. Uh, when I see stuff like this, I save it. Here's a little bitty white one I found somewhere. And they're just ideal for uh, putting on the ends of your glue. And, uh, you know, the idea is to keep the air out. You don't want air to get in there because it's going to dry it out. How many times you've picked up your bottle of CA cement like this and it's, and it's uh, clogged, you can't even get it out, and it's dried up inside. You know, this keeps it airtight. These don't stick to the glue. And you'll notice I've got this one upside down. I found that uh, if I store it upside down in between use, um, it doesn't get air into the glue. It doesn't run out. The glue is right here at the end. And if you can't get air to it, the thing isn't going to dry. I can pull this off and it'll just run right out. Um, yeah, I love these little applicators here. The uh, liquid glues, uh, Zap-A-Gap. Uh, I use the medium myself. They have a, a, a thinner viscosity, a thicker viscosity. I kind of like the, uh, the medium. And uh, drying time, I'm not sure what the drying time is on the, on the medium. Um, probably about medium. The uh, uh, five minute um, epoxy, excellent. Big bottles, they'll last a lifetime. Uh, these don't dry out. Um, and you mix a little bit at a time as you need it. And uh, one trick I'd like to pass on, when you're done using something, you squeeze it out, and especially for your, um, uh, your CA cement, you know, give it a second to drain back down, and then just uh, squeeze it, not enough, not enough to squirt the, the uh, product out, but enough that you blow air out. You can even hear it. You hold it up to your ear. You, know, you don't want to point it, of course. You don't want this stuff to squirt out on your face or in your ear, but you just kind of squeeze it, uh, let me see if I can put this up to the microphone here. I don't know if you heard that, but you just want to squeeze it enough to squeeze that air out. And then that means it's, uh, it's completely empty. It's not going to get caked in there. And I do that for everything. I'll do that for the uh, little CA cement. So this happens to be the uh, liquid cement. But the um, same thing with the... Uh, oh, here. Oh, there's my little cap again. I keep this on there. And you squeeze it. You use your glue as you need it. And then at the end, you just squeeze it enough to get that air out. Make sure it's drained. Give it a minute to drain. And just squeeze the air out of that thing. Close it back up and it's going to last you a lifetime. Uh, something, um, let's say we talked about the touch and flow. Uh, that, let's see, uh, some applicators also. These uh, micro brushes, made by micro brush. Uh, they come in uh, super fine, as this one here. They're really good for uh, touching up things. Uh, I'll, I like to use them for glue. I keep them handy all the time. They make different sizes. Of course, they make these little loops and that sort of thing to uh, put the glue uh, in a particular spot. And, of course, uh, you need super glue remover, this debonder. Uh, not only is it good for cleaning up your mess, you get it on your fingers. You don't want your fingers to stick together. 
and uh, yeah, really necessary. But uh, yeah, make sure when you're done with the glue, give it a second to dry, not a second, a few seconds, a minute. Give it a, a, enough time to drain back down. Just squeeze it and you'll, um, you'll hear that air you know, coming out of it. You know the thing's uh, clear. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty much it for glues and uh, making this thing run. Uh, I think I did mention that uh, these little uh, bottles with the needle applicator are available online at this uh, Flexifile. I don't know their um, uh, email address right offhand. Maybe I'll post it on the, uh, on the film here. Thanks for visiting. Any uh, questions, comments, email me at tedsmodeling at gmail.com or just comment uh, on this video if you want right below uh, the YouTube uh, video here. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye.